Hello peeps, what's up besides the sky? How about a standard deviation function written in C++? So today I'm going to show you guys this function, uh, break it apart, and towards the end of the video I'll go back and show you, you know, the main function, uh, the rest of this code that makes the whole program, but I'm going to start off by focusing on the standard deviation function itself and what it could look like. So first of all, notice that the return type of this function is double. Right, when we think about statistics, we think about standard deviations, we're going to need, um, that's going to have a decimal. So we're going to need either float or double. Not many people using floats these days. We're going to stick with double, get some nice precision um, for our money's worth, right? Now on the parameter side of this, uh, what this function takes is essentially it's going to take a one-dimensional array of numbers, the, the numbers that we're going to take the standard deviation of. And you're also going to have to tell the function you know, how many numbers do I have? Am I taking a standard deviation of 20, 10, or 5 numbers? Whatever it is, we're going to have to pass that as well. So to, to show how you would call this function, uh, say I got, you know, a double array, my values, 20. You know, I'm going to have 20 values here. I could, you know, call this function as such, where I say standard deviation, I give the name of that array, and then that 20 for the number of values in that array. And that's how you'd go about passing a one-dimensional array to a function, right? You bring the name um, into that, uh, when you're using the function, you write that out, my balls. Uh, so we, we call that function. And then keeping in mind the when you're actually writing out the function, defining it, we need to use a pointer, right? Double star numbers, you use a pointer. So that's what the whole syntax looks like when you're passing a one-dimensional array, in case you're curious about that. But let's focus now on the meat of the function. So first of all, double stdev equals 0, 0.0. This is just a variable that we're going to be adding into as we do the statistics with this function, as you'll see. Now we're going to set it equal to 0 before we start adding stuff up. That's just going to be used for a starting point, as is often the case, is zero. Next line here, double average equals mean numbers count. This is to get the average of all those numbers past this function. This is another separate function that I've written that I'll show you later on. And it gets the mean, right, another word for average, essentially, of these numbers and stores that. It's going to be very useful in the statistics. Next up, double temp dev. This is a temporary variable that's going to help to make the code look uh, neat and clean, at least by my standards, you know, think of that what you will, but I'm going to be utilizing that. Now we are going to need a for loop here, right, because we have several numbers. Um, we're going to have to apply, you know, little statistics to each of those numbers past this function. So for loop's going to make that nice and easy for us. Um, so first thing within that for loop, we are going to get the deviation of each number from that mean we determined up here. All right, we'll get that deviation, and then we're gonna need to square it. So the, these steps here, you know, you've probably been given a standard deviation formula to look at. Um, you might wanna keep that on hand because these steps will make a little more sense looking at that formula. So we're essentially taking each individual number and subtracting the average. All right, we get the deviation that way, and then we need to square it. So about how I do that, you can have functions, say, from the CMath library where you, um, you, you s square a number, right? But for something as simple as squaring, you really can just take the uh, deviation, multiply it by itself to get the square. Don't necessarily have to bust out a function call if you prefer doing that. If you like the way that looks, that's fine. Let's just as straightforward to, to multiply the number by itself. And I'm going to take all those square deviations and add them up um, as we look at each individual number. So again, this for loop number by number gets that deviation, squares it, and add it, adds it all together into this stdev variable. So after we've done that summation, what do we got to do? We're going to have to divide by n when you're thinking standard deviation. You have to divide by the, the number of numbers, if you will. Um, so I do want to make a note here that there's different formulas when it comes to standard deviation. You might want to check which one you're interested in because in some formulas you divide by n minus 1. So if you have something like that, you're going to have to write something like this where you say 
count minus one. If you're dividing by n in your formula, don't need that all set. So just keep that ultimately in mind. All right, last step in calculating a standard deviation is to take the square root. This is something that you're going to want the uh, CMath library in order to perform. The SQRT function will take a square root for you of, of stdev. And so now knowing the square root of the summation of the square deviations divided by the count, we now have our standard deviation. So we can return that to the calling function, call it good. And that is essentially how you could do a standard deviation function. So at this point, I'm gonna quickly show you guys what the rest of the program could look like. Uh, I mentioned the mean function, which calculates an average. Uh, fairly simple compared to that standard deviation function. Again, we're gonna have a whoop where you add up all the numbers and then divide by the number of numbers, and that's the mean, right? So uh, a function to calculate the average could look like this. Now, when it comes to the main function that uh, interacts with the user, um, actually, let me make sure I show you guys a little bit before we go over that main. As far as what libraries we have, we have IOStream and, and CMath, IOStream for input output, CMath for that square root function. We also have using namespace STD to go along with, you know, um, the IOStream library. There's a couple lines here, stdafix.h and, and system um, that just comes along with my compiler, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express. I like it personally, I recommend it, um, but those two lines kind of come along with the use of this compiler, so don't, don't worry about those guys so much. I have constant and max count equals 100 here. This is just a constant integer that's going to specify, you know, what what's the maximum for the number of numbers that I'm going to take in from the user and, and calculate the standard deviation with. Uh, we also have, you know, function decorations here, the mean and standard deviation. We just went over those functions, and this is what their decorations would look like. Now, in the main function, you know, I, I greet the user. I ask them how many numbers they're going to get. Now, if you if you have to take in several numbers from the user, there's a few ways to do this in C++. One of the simplest ways is to ask the user how many numbers you got from me, get that value, right? And then use a for loop to take in uh, a, a number of numbers that corresponds to how much they just told you. So for example, if they say, hey, I got five numbers for you, your for loop will go through and get each of those five numbers one by one using CN statements. All right, and then once we've got all the numbers from the user, we use a standard deviation function. Uh, we pass it, you know, the numbers, and then that temp counter was stored. The, you know, the user told us how many numbers they're going to give us, so we're going to pass that to standard deviation function. That's going to calculate the standard deviation, return it. So I'm going to have this double SD variable, which, which grabs that number from the function. That final result, we want the standard deviation, and then we have our nice output line where we tell the user what that standard deviation is. And that is ultimately what this program would look like. A basic program in C++ to calculate the standard deviation. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's just about all there is to say about this little standard deviation. So have um, an excellent day and good luck with your coding.